retrieved the horn of Jorgen Winkel. Well done. You have now passed all the trials. Come with me. It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragon Ball. You are ready to learn the final word. Together, this shout is much more powerful. Use it wisely. between us and prepare yourself. Few can withstand the unbridled voice of the Greybeards, but you are ready. of the Greybeards and passed through unscathed. High Hrothgar is open to you. Wind, guide you. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? The Blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have always sought to turn the Dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the Blades to be used for their own purposes? No, no, of course not. Forgive me, Dragonborn. I have been intemperate with you. But heed my warning. The Blades may say they serve the Dragonborn, but they do not. They never have. No, I cannot teach it to you, because I do not know it. It is called Dragonrend, but its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrend holds no place within the way of the voice. Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question, if he so chooses. You weren't ready, you still aren't ready. But, thanks to the Blades, you now have questions that only Parthenax can answer. He is our leader. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. He speaks to us only rarely, and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. 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 Curious name. I wonder... No, surely not. A ridiculous notion. A legendary shout. If it fits the capabilities of disabling just about any dragon, that would be incredibly nice to have. Not just for Alduin. So, you have attained full dragonborn status. 
Being shouted at by a group of old men has never been so rewarding. Who made the gods, I wonder? No one ever told me a satisfactory answer. to Parthenax lies through this gate. I will show you how to open the way. you my understanding of clear skies. This is your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. of the world. If I know my mountains right, I think its peak is pretty much one of the highest places in all of Tangria. No!
Dremulok. Greetings, Wundunik. I am Parthenax. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach, my mountain? Yes, Vaza, you speak true, Dovakin. Forgive me. It has been long since I held Tinvak with a stranger. I gave in to the temptation to prolong our speech. Hmm. Drem, patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my thum. Feel it in your bones. Match it, if you are Dovahkiin. since I had the pleasure of speech with one of my own kind. So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dova Sos, dragon blood. What would you ask of me? expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. Krosis, sorrowfully, no. It cannot be known to me. Your kind, Jor, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the Dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds, cannot even comprehend its concepts. Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this Thum? Prusa has good a reason as any. There are many who feel as you do, although not all. Some would say that all things must end so that the next can come to pass. Perhaps this world is simply the egg of the next Kalpa, Lean Vokin? Would you stop the next world from being born? Pause. A fair answer. Rofus, maybe you only balance the forces that work to quicken the end of this world. Even we who ride the currents of time cannot see past time's end. Wulsetid los trahodis. Those who try to hasten the end may delay it. Those who work to delay the end may bring it closer.
But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus, now I will answer your question. Hmm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monavin? What you name Throat of the World? But few now remember that this was the very spot where Alduin was defeated by the ancient tongues. Varucht Unslad. Perhaps none but me now remember how he was defeated. Hmm, yes and no. Viknus Nikron. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin. The Elder Scroll, they used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. Not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. Maye. I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day he would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. Tid Krent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Teed Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. You have it. The Kel. The Elder Scroll. Tidkrech Kalos. Time shudders at its touch. There is no question. You are doom-driven. Kogan Akatosh. The very bones of the Earth are at your disposal. Go then, fulfill your destiny. Take the scroll to the Time Wound. Do not delay. Alduin will be coming. He cannot miss the signs. The Greybeards is a dragon? I did not see that coming. If you need anything else, just ask. You want to ask me something? What's on your mind? Oh, what is it? <laughs>